don't be a lukewarm Christian. Let's go to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, unto God, which is your reasonable service. So what does beseech mean? Hey, let's look it up. Ask someone urgently and fervently to do something, implore, entreat. So in my own words, beseech mean to ask someone urgently in this serious manner. Okay. So what does present your bodies a living sacrifice? In my own words, what that mean, follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. So I guess you can say pretty much follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. So yes, you may like fornicating. Yes, you may like cheating, stealing, cursing, and doing other <laughs> sinful things. <laughs> so in my own words, hey, stop doing that and follow God's rules. Okay, let's continue. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So it is our job to follow God's rules. If you don't, life is not going to be right for you. It is not going to go well for you. Verse 2. Let me say this. Just because you are rich doesn't mean your life is going well. Please. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. So what does conform mean? Let's look it up. Comply with rules, standards, or laws. Be similar in form or type. Agree. Okay. So what does world mean in this context? World means in this context, I believe, it means sinners. So what this is saying in my own words, don't be in agreement with the lifestyle of sinners. Don't be similar <laughs> to a sinner. Don't want to be like a sinner. Stop acting or speaking like sinners. Stop having this image as a sinner. Yes, it is okay to teach sinners. Yes, you may have to help and do some things for sinners. What this is saying, in my own words, there should be a difference between a man or woman of God and a sinner. There should be a difference between a person who serves God and a person that doesn't. So in this doctrine, all you, all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ and you can do as you please, that is not right. That is so wrong. Okay. Let's continue. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So what does that mean there? So what does renew mean? Let's look it up. To make like new, restore to freshness, vigor, or, or perfection, 
So what does that mean? I mean, so to make like new, restore to freshness, vigor, or perfection. Okay. So what is a way, what is one way, I guess you can say, that you can renew your mind? I believe one way that you can renew your mind is by reading the Bible and acting upon it. This is saying renewing. So what is coming to me now, I will begin to tell you what is coming to my thoughts more than one time. So this is a constant process. So when you are renewing something and what this is saying to me, this is constantly. So if you renew your mind one time and believe that is enough, that may be a reason why you continue to fall back into sin because you have to continue renewing your mind. You can't only do it one time, two times, three times, a thousand times. You have to continue doing it. So it is a constant process. I believe these statements to be true. For instance, we have to breathe every day. Like, we can't say, Kevin, I breathed <laughs> last week, and because of that, that should be enough. We can't say that because we have to constantly breathe, okay? I guess we can say that, but it would not make any sense. We have to constantly be doing something, be part of... We have to constantly be a part of God's word in some way or form. We have to be reading. We have to be reading the Bible, yes. We have to be listening to teachings. We have to be around people who serve God constantly renewing our mind. I believe these statements to be true. We constantly, we have to be praying, we have to be doing something that pertains to God to help us to continually renew our mind. I truly believe this. Yes, when you were younger, yes, you may have went to church 1,000 times, blah, blah, blah. But, hey, you are older now. You have to be doing something to continue to renew your mind on things of God. So you can't just, you can't rely on what you did on the past. We have to continue be doing something that is of God. Learning more of God. I believe these statements to be true. I pray that this is making sense. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Living for God is a perfecting process. I truly believe this. I believe, and I can be wrong about this, I believe everyone that is living on earth now, even if you are living for God now, I believe that you are never done growing in God. So there are places that you can improve still in. If you hear a person say that they are done growing in God, 
something is wrong. <laughs> I can be wrong about that, but don't believe it. We should be constantly growing more in God. Yes, some may grow faster, some may grow slower, but we should be growing more and more in God. I believe these statements to be true. So I pray that this makes more sense or makes sense. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you tell someone that you love them. God bless you.